Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Let's continue searching for Prompto and the others in Zegnatus. Or we could fight another one of these guys first. Okay, I guess they're not going to attack me. Okay, we can kill them that way too, whatever works for you. Just a little treasure here though, I don't think we can interact with any of the filing cabinets. Hmm, that kind of looks like one of those... What were they, generators in Crest Home Channels? Or something or other like that. Nothing interesting in this room, I'm afraid. But this up next room is much more interesting. What do we got here? Whoa! Holy cow! Or, well, the opposite of holy cow. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you should have thought about that plan of breeding demons to take over the world. Oh, a little late for that now. That's... Well, maybe you could try nuking the place. It's the only way to be sure. Uh-oh. Okay, we could kill that guy too. While they take forever to get up. But anyway, yeah, we got another security clearance station or whatever that thing's called. Security clearance raised to level 5. Access to level 5 zones authorized. And by the way, with all of these uh, data log entries that we're finding all over the place. These are permanently missable. Once we're done with chapter 13, we will not be able to come back ever again. Yeah, unfortunately with these MTs that suicide themselves, you don't get experience from them dying or anything. So, yeah, if you can, try to avoid them. What the hell is this place? What are they keeping inside? Hmm. Not sure what that is, but I got a hunch it's bad. Don't like it one bit. How bad could it possibly be? Oh, there we go. And let's see what we got over here. Bet there's something here. Hmm. Which means it's locked. And if there's a lock, there's a key. I think in one of my test runs, I remember some some sort of graphical glitch happening here where. I was actually able to just walk right through the door to get in there much earlier than we're supposed to be able to. Not that it really helped or anything, but in any case, oh, can we go up here? There we go. Is that even on my map? No, it isn't. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, my map did not indicate a treasure there. Well, it's not mine. Someone else made it, but the map I'm looking at right now did not indicate a treasure there. But in any case, see what that does. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Things are looking up. Hmm. How will this story um. end? I wonder. Intruder alert! Mobilizing dormant Magitek infantry. That's what the. Wait. Is that what's waiting inside? <sighs> Evidently. <laughs> what? They just shot. So they just shot these guys out like a cannon? And then. They all just died on the ground? Well, that's one way of dealing with those guys. That's because I am alone, douchebag. But in any case, yeah, once you kill at least a few of the enemies, you can get some treasure around here. Oh, and, hold on. Right over here. Thank you for reminding me about this, viewers. I heard you from the future. Security clearance raised to level six. Access to level six zones authorized. Okay, I don't have enough MP for Alterna anymore. Lives ahead of them. Don't take it personally if they choose their own over yours. Yeah, we'll just have to pick them off one by one, I'm afraid. Okay, we can do it that way. Single file! 
Can I drain some more? Okay, there we go. It seems like I guess they wake up in packs or something. But uh, I think I have to kill more of these guys in order to be able to interact with the treasures. Well, maybe in the base version of the game, but we're doing pretty good in the Royal Edition. Yeah, I heard the ring was, uh, yeah, not nearly as good as it is now. Seems kind of odd to do that. I mean, why give you this ring that they're making such a big deal about throughout the whole game, and then it completely sucks? How does it even work? I mean, to some extent, yeah, it's a little overpowered now. Helpless without your friends babysitting you. Hmm, indeed. Yeah, like, I know Alterna can work against the big boss. You know the one, viewers. Which, yeah, I mean, that just seems pretty ridiculous there. Maybe I'll show that off when I get there. But, in any case, the ring serves its function. It also works pretty well against flan-type enemies now. <laughs> so, if you don't want to equip magic to deal with them, because there will be some that are completely immune to physical attacks later on, you could use the <laughs> ring to deal with them instead. Which is what I did the first time I played through the game. Hey, well, you could rest up here if you wanted. Can I even switch paths anymore? I don't think I can. We're getting pretty close to where the game deposited us. You can tell me. After Gladio's path. But, uh, okay, so we got... Let's see, I think we got a couple more data log entries coming up here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more further to the left. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Ah, there we are. Okay, now this room has a couple more data logs. Wall breaker. Oh, so that's how they're uh, inhibiting our abilities. So... If you have this wall breaker that, well, would literally work on the wall that Regis was keeping up to protect uh, Insomnia, why didn't they ever use it there? I don't know. I mean, it seems like kind of a waste to develop this thing and then to not really have a plan to use it. I mean, obviously Arden is, but I mean, like, for the war or something. But, uh, <laughs> hmm. Well, that might explain how they defeated Shiva. Okay, then let's see. Up here. There we go. Okay, and then right here is where the game deposited us after Gladia's path. So you didn't have to go through any of that puzzle solving or whatever going in that three by three grid there but we've already done that i enjoyed it let's see what we got if ahead there's any doubt it's a trap well gee you think not so tough without your borrowed toys hmm. are you well if i can whoa okay while you dawdle people dying can I... Ah, there we go. If I can get all my MP back. There we go. No! Dudes? Is... What's going on? Oh, okay, they're closing... The walls are closing in on me! Can you use that wall breaker about now? Got it! There ought to be a kill switch, Nip. Find it! Well, how do you know that? I believe 
It's the reason we were brought here. Hmm. Well, if you could hurry up, I'd rather not get electrocuted. Thank you. That was close. How the hell did you get here? You're welcome. Thanks. After we were separated, <laughs> we received help from the usual suspect. Hmm. And bastards playing with us. But at least we're together. All but one of us. Reunited with your retainers at last. How very touching. Aww. Must be a fine feeling, having friends. Look how happy you are. <laughs> Indeed. I Not pray hmm. you'll find your dear Prompto soon. Not that you have any friends. Okay, what do we got here then? And there's something here. Huh. Locked. Meaning there's someone inside. Did it work? Ah, oh, there we go. But before going down there, let's go up here first. See, I know there's a treasure. Yeah, on the right there. I wasn't quite sure if it was in this room or the previous one. Okay, and then let's see back here. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a Xenogears vibe from this place. I approve. That was an awesome game. And let's see, this is another one of those Omega Logs. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Probably won't be important. Not in the base version of the game, anyway. Let's see, so with the data log, I think that's all of the entries that we can get around here. Yeah, so two, two, and then the one here. So, yeah, that would be all of them. So, let's see if we can find Prompto around this place. Now that we've got a little more help. Oh, how's your equipment, by the way? Okay, well, they, we still got all that stuff. And, yeah, everything else is locked. I don't know why the Sword of the Father is exclusive to that, though. I would think, uh, like, all the Royal Arms would work if that were the case. Hmm. And the game's taunting me, almost having a million gil again. Okay, so... <laughs> ah, there we go. Go. Oh, I knew you'd go that way. Well, yeah, you got... Oh, was such a tease. ...hidden cameras around the place. Okay, now this part can be a little tricky. I know there's some... a treasure... Yeah, there we go. On this side, and then another one on this side. See, I think that's everything here, then. Hey, hey! Is it really him? Hey, you alright? Are you hurt? Do you need help? I'm fine. Thank you, Noct. No sweat. Sorry, I don't have a favorite Tell food me. buff for you. Were you worried about me? No, not really. But, uh, oh, or, yeah. Of course I was. What kind of question is that? <laughs> of course. That's why you came. Like I believed you would. Prompto. Aww. That's why I told myself I couldn't die. Not until I could see you. And hear you tell me I'm not a fake. That I'm the real me. I'm sorry. You knew about all that? Everything's all right now. Well, there we go. But yeah, now we got to go back to where we saw that thing up top or whatever. Whatever that thing is. But, uh, all right, party reunited. Been uh, getting a lot of rest there, huh, Prompto? Meanwhile, we've got a final boss to kill here. Pick up the slack. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go all the... Are you guys... 
coming. There we go. Not that I could... Oh, you know what? With Gladio and Ignis... Oh, well, I mean, I could activate a technique, but, uh... Hmm. I was just about to say, Prompto might not have a weapon either. Or something, but, uh... Hmm. I guess whatever the wall breaker or whatever Arden is doing... Did you hear that? ...can be sure. very specific. I've heard this sound before. On the train, just before your weapons failed you. It's nearby. And it may hold the key to restoring your power. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. This thing? Hmm. Oh, or we could just skip around to the front. Door's locked. You got a security Let's clearance? From within. Is there no way through? Hmm. There's a way. Oh, how do you get in then? Then, do you hear something from Arden or what? Hey! So, MTs, they've got those code prints. Just like I do. do they? What the? Never looked. Yeah. So, as it turns out, I'm one of them. Well. Not exactly something I could tell people growing up in Lucis. That was random. Still. You guys are, like, the only friends I've ever known. I just hope that things can stay the way they were. Whatever. Who cares where you were born? I don't see you turning against us. Not now or ever. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Still, I can't change where I came from. What I am. Since when does where you come from matter to you? Hmm? You never once treated me as a prince. Hmm. has <laughs> got you there. Never so much as a highness. We're done here. Come on, crown citizen. You're one of us, right? Unless you'd rather not be. Well, let's see what we got around here. Oh, um, there it is. See, I think there's two treasures around here. Hmm, what happened there? Well, that was probably... Well, that was the Emperor's clothes before he turned into a demon or something. Whatever was going on in Gladio's path. We'll find out about that soon enough. Okay, so... Well, that's one way of doing that. Did it work? Uh, so, <laughs> did it work? With the device down and out, Nox power should be up and running. Go on, try it. All right. Moment of truth. <laughs> hey! <laughs> We're back, baby. <sighs> What a relief. <laughs> Let's roll. Back in action. And yeah, we can go back into the past if you want to get a food buff or something. Which I will do eventually. Or we could fight this guy first. Um, Yeah, why don't we get our equipment going now? Yeah, I don't want to use uh, the ring anymore. It's... Well, maybe against this guy it might be faster, but in general, it's slower than most of the stuff we got. Most of our regular weapons. So yeah, light elemental weapons are a really good way to go. Or, let's see, let's get maybe a little fire magic going on. Though I don't think this guy is weak to anything like that. Let me see, uh, Gargantua. Yeah, yeah, they're actually strong against fire, but there's some enemies that are weak against it as well. Actually, you know what? Let's go with ice instead. Oh, I only have the one stack. Okay, we can go with that. Let's see, Moogle Charms. They'll be good enough for now, but eventually I will want to equip some status protection. 
But let's see. Okay, so yeah, let's get you back on your power shield. Let's see, I don't think Ignis can use any of his other techs now. Maybe I'll give it a try, but I don't think so. But let's see. Okay, so we got... Well, we don't have a favorite food buff, so we might as well go with Piercer here for some decent damage. You friend? You really need to pick a better. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can't use Ignis's techniques yet. All in bullets out, baby. Nice. And we can debuff them, too. Let's see. Snog up. Yeah, that's where we want to use uh, Radiant Lands to pick those guys off. Or we could kill the guy that way, too. That works. Are we good? No, I guess not. We still got a little more to deal with. Okay, Utu. Let's see, weak to great swords, machinery and like. But I think I'll just go with Durandal and a good piercer. Uh, Prompto, over here. All in bullets, you can shoot right through the wall. Holy cow. Let's see, I thought there was one more. Yep, there we go. Let's see, Reaper, they are also weak to great swords. Uh, shields, fire, and light. Let's see, a good piercer out of finish him off. If Pronto will ever get over here. Alright. Had to. No weapons, no friends, no choice, really. You know, somebody here's got to fight to rescue the crystal. Not to mention rescue all of your asses. <laughs> Spoken like a true king. <laughs> About time. The ring represents a great burden, but you don't bear it alone. Hmm. You can say that again. Especially now that y'all have your weapons back. That helps too. I wonder if that's more so what Gladio meant when he called Noctis a coward. Not coward is in like fighting enemies and fighting the Empire and all that, but maybe he didn't want to bear the responsibility of the ring. But I don't think they ever specifically say that either. Seems kind of strange. Well, in any case, it's all good now. Let's see. I'm thinking if I want to go back to the past now... Or if I want to wait until a little later. I think I'm going to do it now. How's our experience look? Mm, not that extraordinary. Even with Noctis, not nearly enough to... Uh, oh. Thought I saw something. Keep an eye on Iggy. I'll keep both on him. That'll do. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Rogue Axeman. This is where the Ice Spears would be helpful. Now we can get AP kills again or more easily now that we can warp strike and everything hmm let's see with these guys whoa get out of there are you gonna explode or what not sure what's going on let's get on with it you getting a feel for things Ignis feeling my way around both literally and figuratively but, uh, yeah, now we can call Umbra again. Let's get out of here. There's a couple things that I want to do. Let's see. Yeah, let's go back to Altitia. First, to get what experience I can. <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. I like that one. But, uh, yeah, let's get what experience we can. Noctis should be getting pretty close to a level, but not quite enough for that. I'm still going to keep the the Moogle Charms on, though I should probably equip my status protection soon. But, yeah, whenever we go back to the present, it'll take us right back to where we were. Welcome back. Will you be requiring a room? Whatever Let's room you used so to nice, call Umbra and all that, they would just take you straight back to that 
specific point. Well, we're getting there. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, actually doing a bit better than in my test runs on experience. Maybe because of all the timed quests that I've been doing. I mean, there were a lot of experience before, but now, hmm, not so much. I did think about going back. Uh, where was that? Oh, uh, yeah, when I was recording yesterday's episode, so that was like the third of the month, there is a time quest that I could have done. I thought about recording, well, today's episode also at that time, so I could do that one. But I'm pretty sure we've got more than a month's worth of episodes left. Including the post-game and stuff, so I figured, eh, let's not rush things. Huh. Let's see, let's get two days of Chocobo. And then, let's see, I want to go back to Hammerhead to deliver, what was that, the Magnetron? We got or something with the the noise blaster. And I think that's the last weapon upgrade quest we get in the game. Great range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile like you. Let's see, no more hunts or anything that we can do at this point. Alright. I give you a call when it's ready. All right. Oh my. But uh, I don't have another quest to do or something to get him to finish whatever he's doing. So yeah, I'm not gonna uh, pick it up anytime soon, unless somehow resting up here will get the job done. But uh, usually with those quests, you have to finish some other quest or something to get him to finish whatever he's doing. But I do want to rest up and get a food buff going. I don't think poison is anything to really worry about, but I am a little concerned about the stop status. And by the way, if you didn't uh, get the second ribbon earlier... You could go back to Altitia and with the 40 Oracle Ascension coins, you could get the second one that way from Alessio there at the Pulsino. But uh, yeah, I already had extras earlier, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's see, I need the gold hourglass? Golden hourglass. There we go. The stop status is really the big one that would concern me. And I think it's better to go with that. Let's call it a day. All right. I'm gonna pitch the tent. Uh, rather than like a food buff that could protect us from status ailments. But uh, okay, so I don't know that I'm gonna have very many opportunities to use Prompto's favorite food buff, but I'm gonna go with that anyway. And let's see, I could probably make some more ice magic while we're at it. And we're getting there for another level. We'll probably finish it off by the end of the main storyline. Time to go. All right, right behind you. Okay, so for Elemancy, how are we doing there? Let's see, we got a couple fires. So, yeah, let's make another stack of Ice Magic. Or Blizzara there. But uh, we'll just hold on to that for later. Elemental Energy, yeah, I could use, well, a little bit of Fire and Ice. Okay, so, yeah, grab that. Hey, hey, alright. How close am I on that? I thought I was pretty close to getting uh, 24. Ooh, nice. Well, we're not going to be hanging around Lucis for a while. So I'm not going to have very many opportunities to get more debased coins, I'm afraid. 
And there is one thing I want to check out here. I'm not sure if I can do this at this point in the game. But uh, I think earlier, when we came over to the Kiki Trick Ruins, I think I showed a statue that was over there. And something special happens over there. Once you've gotten all 13 of the Royal Arms. But I think you can't do it until the post game. So for now, yeah, we'll just uh, skip past that guy. Get to the statue and see if I can do anything here. Thanks for the ride. Nice riding with you. Okay, so we got that. Well, something's happening. Hey, all right, we got it. For some reason, I thought I heard you could only do that in the post game, but uh, no, apparently not. So we get the Founder's King Sigil, which activates Armager Unleashed, which I feel like it's weaker than the original Armager because I think it's like more powerful or something, but it doesn't protect you from going into the danger status like regular Armager does. And as a result, once you get into uh, danger status, your HP gets low enough, then you, you're knocked out of Armager anyway. So it's like, why would I want to use that? I don't know. I did not experiment with that nearly as much as with the regular Armager. Hey, you want to hit up the crow's nest? If you but, wait, uh... Wait. So? If you guys know more about that, let me know. I never really used it, though, personally. But I've heard it's really powerful. But, uh, yeah, there it is. So you equip that, and you can use Armager Unleashed, which is basically the same thing as activating Armager, but it's Unleashed, whatever that means. But uh, I don't plan on using that unless I find some, like, really specific information on that. But, uh, okay, yeah, we're done with our business here. Room. We got one. Let's, uh, get back to the present, or back to the future. Let's see, we're almost done with, uh, Zygnautis there. But we do have a little bit more to go. I'm actually a little surprised it's taken me this long to, uh, get all the way to the end. I mean, that's good. There's lots of stuff to do. I like this dungeon. I know a lot of people really don't like it. Maybe because of the, how it was in the base version of the game. But the way it is now... I mean, even without, like, Gladio's path there or anything... I like the little bit of puzzle solving they got going on here. I mean, it's no Zelda or anything like that. No. No, we're not talking crazy. But, uh... I, I like this better than, like, the random caves and dungeons that we got that, you know, really don't have anything fascinating to them. But, uh, okay, with the Wraith there, we do swords and light, and they're also weak to ice, so maybe get a Blizzara going on that guy. See if I can uh, finish that guy off. There we go. Are we good? Okay, there we are. Okay, so... Yeah, we gotta continue onward from where we were before. Now then, the crystal. I'm yeah. guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a bird. Hmm. Whoop. See if we can get out of there. Where'd all the other enemies go? Oh, someone's attacking me. I can't really quite tell what's going on. I'm trying to blindside this guy. There we go. Might not be a bad idea to use the friendship bands. But at this point, I'm starting to think about... 
uh, getting up to max level. Or you could just interrupt that guy's attacking so I can't parry it. Thanks, game. Wow, that was a lot of enemies there. So, where'd you guys park the regalia? Outside. Though park ain't the right word. Hmm. She's broken down, alas. Took one for us. Saved our lives. Yeah, I, I guess it did. Something. But, uh, okay. Hopefully Biggs and Wedge both made it to safety. Hmm. Who and who? Our train drivers. And soldiers. They can fend for themselves. Well, they have to now. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, elemental deposits. Just trying to find the fire and ice ones. There we go. And we also got some shops that you, or vending machines, you could use if you so chose. I like how they have these around here. I mean, it, it makes sense with all the technology and, uh, what is it, you know, research and all that stuff that they do around here. But, uh, yeah, nothing extraordinary. Just, how do you have a vending machine for weapons? I don't know. But, okay. I wonder if that actually exists in real life. Hey, buddy. Could you try to stick together? Oh, okay. I would think they wouldn't have, like, significant weapons in vending machines, but then again, they have cigarette vending machines. So, yeah, why not bullets or something? Okay, let's just see how we're looking here. Am I at maximum HP? Not quite, but close enough. But, uh, okay, so let's see. We want to have the Durandal ready to go. And the... Uh, what is it? Yeah, the Radiant Lance. Let's see. Let's go with Thundara magic. That could be useful here. For boss time! Against Foras! Evidently. That's the idea. Finish him off, at least. But yeah, with our weapons, this guy... Yeah, that's nothing we can't handle. Yeah, why don't you get a uh, shot at him? All in bullet time, baby. <laughs> the Empire shall span all the land. It already does. Crystal's light. We shall flourish. I shall arise as ruler of the world. All right. Things are looking up. <laughs> Just seemed kind of odd that dialogue sequence happening right after what he said there. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's see. There was a bestiary entry that I was looking for here. I'm not sure if we got it or not. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we did get it. All brick. I think these guys showed up with for us there but i think the others killed them too quickly for me to really show them off but basically tougher goblins that's all but otherwise i think this is the the last save point in the chapter so yeah let's make a little backup there And continue to the end. If these guys will get out of my way, that would make it a lot easier. Oh, wait a minute. We got to turn here. There we go. Do we need security to use the elevator? Okay, you guys can wait. Or not. But, uh, yeah, this takes us back to the central room where we were before. We're, I think we found Ravis here or something. Maybe that was the floor below. Yeah, I think it was the floor below. This is, uh, well, the other side of that area. Look at all this space. So the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. So, yeah, we just work our way back there this way, I suppose. 
Ooh, what's your going on? Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. Thank you. Things up. I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. Whoa! As you wish. Is that Ravis? Or what's left of it? Damn it. So let's see. Ravis is weak to light, but it's strong against fire, ice, and... Uh, what is it? Fire, ice, and lightning there. So don't bother with magic. I love the music that plays for this fight. Whoa. There we go. Or you could just totally whip at the guy. Well, okay, we can go with this. I don't know if Starshell does anything while Prompto has his favorite food buff. Or I don't know if it does anything more. Like, I mean, it can crit and all that. But I don't know if it debuffs enemies anymore. Than it otherwise would. Oh, whoops. Didn't realize he was vulnerable. But, uh, okay, we can uh, just wail on the guy. Uh oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Yeah, he used an AoE there, but, uh, ow. There we go. Well, we're having no trouble getting those uh, blind sides going. But I do need to refresh Starshell periodically there. So warp out. Warp in. I like how they give Ravis his own boss theme. So yeah, periodically get a warp check in there. I think we're okay. Whoa! Where are you? Well, fortunately, he's pretty slow. Yeah, I figured he was getting ready to use something going on there. Okay, so... Yeah, Ignis, let's help him out. Or I could just roll dodge instead of rescuing him. Why not? Not sure why I was having such a hard time rescuing him. Let me brighten your day. I was trying to rescue him quickly. Maybe I was just moving too much. But in any case, one more blindside blink. Got him. Hey! And for the high commander, for anyone, he was a man with hopes and dreams. He did. Ugh. I don't. It's horrible. Think so. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Arden, evidently. Look alive, company. Hmm. What do you mean? What company? Whoa. Well, we can take these guys easily enough. Keep an eye on Iggy. Ah, there's more of those Alberix. Oh, Forrest is back. Okay. But anyway, yeah, let's just try and pick these... Pick off the little guys first. Get some good AP while we're at it. Whoops. Come on. Okay, so... Let me see if I can get behind him for a good. And they just keep coming. Or we could do that. That works too. Knocked. What do you mean? If you can obtain the crystal's power, you may yet be able to turn the tide. Oh. We are all like to perish. Biggie's right. It's our only chance. But what about you? We'll manage somehow. Well. Just get moving. Okay. 
Hmm. You went on your own. Well, I would like to. Ah, there we go. It's like, why can't I get in there? Oh. Goodbye. Nice knowing you guys. Hangar gate closing. Uh oh. Please stand clear. Or I could try warping through. I don't envy you your decision. Uh, King. There we go. This is the way to the crystal. Betraying your friends for the greater good. The mark of a monarch. Step forth, your majesty. Uh, if I can get around that guy. There we go. If you wish to obtain the crystal's power, you must be prepared to lose all else. That's the idea. Whoa, they even got Naga there, too. Not sure how we're supposed to use the crystal. Closed. Don't die on me. You do know how to do that. Right, Noctis? No. But, uh... Yeah, we, uh, just take the do central you elevator. your dear friends are still alive? Now that it's activated. Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? No, not really. Can you even recall their final words? I wasn't there. I'll come back for you all. I swear. Ah, there we go. How far does this go? Crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Hmm. Hey! Why would Arden even allow us to get the crystal, though? Is over, nice background. Hmm, maybe I should have gone for the experience food buff. Well, I'm not even going to be able to go to Altitia anyway with it. Not anymore. It's got a big hole in it. Huh. Uh, you got... Please. Help me stop the demons. Don't we need the ring or something? Why? Hmm? <laughs> Unharmed by the light, the chosen king of the queen. Allow me to regale you with a tale. In okay. Long past, an incurable scourge ravaged mankind. A tiny menace that twisted men into monsters, the likes of which you've seen. Oh, yeah, I think we heard something about that. He a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons, let countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. Maps. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. What do you mean? Lucis Kylum. Is my proper name. What the? You'll never guess whose name this video was. No, killing me is more than will bring me satisfaction. Playing the crystal's power, arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and the king are no more. I know redemption. What does that even mean? What's going on? Oh, it went dark? Well, that didn't go as planned. Dude? What are you going to do, um? <laughs> well, 
shoot him in the head. That works. Well. Is that anticlimactic or just regular climactic? Well, he is kind of immortal. Whoa! What if we take off his head? What, you guys are just going to let him leave? So... What do we do now? Gather strength, O Chosen. Well, what do you mean? We were doing pretty good up to now. Where are we anyway? I know Bahamut was like one of the the six. Though I don't the think fate we of this world falls to the king of kings. Huh. I don't think we've seen him until His now. Providence consecrated in the divine light of the crystal. Whoa! So it is ordained the revelation of Bahamut. Oh, okay, I guess just like, uh, Shiva, we get to talk with the guy for a little bit, I guess. The heart of the crystal, wherein lies the soul of the star. And it is in this place that the king will gain the power to fulfill his calling. Thanks, I guess. Something like that. They stand against the darkness and abide in hope, sustained by faith unfaltering that their king shall arise and bring deliverance. Well, I got bad by news. The covenants awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension. Okay. And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. Oh. But, uh, yeah, what's going on with all this? I mean, what's happening to the rest of the world while we're stuck here? Or something. A man cursed with life eternal, whose immortality stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. Hmm. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. How's he doing that, anyway? Only the true king, chosen by the crystal and guarded by his forebears, can end the accursed's madness. Oh. Um. Okay, well, how are we supposed to kill him, though, if he's immortal or something? Didn't quite get all that. Is the soul means to ending the immortal accursed. Oh, okay. A power greater than even that of the six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Oh. Only at the throne can the chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life, his own. Oh, great. Thanks. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in Dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Naps. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. Blood for the Blood God? Now enter into reflection, the 
let the light of providence shine within. Okay, I'm not exactly sure I understand everything that's going on here. But, uh, well, we'll get a little more information eventually. So what is, am I, like, trapped in the sacred realm or something? Something like that. So, I think, yeah, the ring is, like, absorbing all of the light of the crystal or... Something or other's going on here. Well, I I hope that all works out. Is full. Go forth to the kingdom where the usurper awaits. Oh. Reclaim the throne and fulfill the calling of the true king. Well, we're kind of stuck here, though. Whoa. What happened to him? Oh. Why are we on Angel Guard? That was the... The island that was off of the coast of Golden Key... Or something? Can I... No, I can't really do a whole lot here. Can't even sprint or anything. How did you get here? What's that? Be waiting. In Hammerhead. Oh. Okay, they... Found out about that or something? Uh, okay. Not exactly sure how we got here, but I'll take what I can get. Oh, hey, Carbuncle's even with us still. Whoa, that's a nice effect there. Like that one. I wonder if Prompto was still taking pictures after I left. I mean, they did make it out of there, eventually. Okay, so, yeah, why don't we go with that one? I like that, uh, little effect there. Didn't look like things were going too well, though, outside. Is this the end of the world as we know it? Find out next time in Chapter 14 of Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!